Renault and racing go hand in hand. The brand has a long-standing and varied motorsport heritage and its current involvement is spearheaded by its Formula One participation where it's an engine supplier to a number of the Formula One teams. Red Bull Racing, of course, being one of those teams, and these cars celebrate the successful partnership between Renault and Red Bull Racing. The two Renault Performance hatchbacks featured here carry the limited edition RB7 designation, which gives some indication of their special status. But while that colour scheme turns heads like Charlie's Tron at the Oscars, don't be surprised if the cars underneath those brazen hues seem all too familiar. The Red Bull Racing Renaults are based on the Clio RS and the Megane RS Trophy. The biggest difference between the standard cars and these limited edition versions is the colour scheme. Black metallic finish, the series yellow detailing, of course also the chequered flag roof decal and the black wheels. The rest of the cars very much undiluted Renault Sport. That pedigree in itself is an enviable one. Renault Sport Technologies is the high-tech performance division of the French automaker, responsible not only for its Formula One engine program, but also for all its racing and rallying activities. Renault Sport also creates the high-performance versions of some of the brand's road cars, earning those models the coveted RS designation. RS may as well be considered an abbreviation for rapid and sporty, because that's what all RS cars feel like. And it all starts with the engines. Under the bonnet of these two Red Bull Racing Renaults, you'll find two variations on the performance engine theme. The Clio has a hardcore, normally aspirated, some would say old school, two litre four cylinder engine. It's a real screamer, it goes way beyond 7,000 RPM. Maximum power 147.5 kilowatts, linked to 250 Newton meters. The thing with this engine is to keep it on the boil. You really have to keep it between 5 and 7,000 RPM to get the best out of it. But if you do, it does deliver the goods in absolutely every terms. The counterpoint is the engine in the Megane. It's a two-litre engine as well, but this one's turbocharged, and as a result, the power elevated to 195 kilowatt, 360 newton meters of torque to go with that, a six-speed gearbox, LS diff, very much a racing car in road trim. No surprise then that these two hatchbacks enjoy an elevated reputation for blue-blooded performance motoring that will make any petrol head drool. And while the exteriors leave little doubt about their dynamic intentions, the functional starkness of the RS cabins serves to underscore their tar-ripping talents. The interior treatment of these Red Bull Renaults is very much on the racy side and actually quite spartan. The thinly padded bucket seats, the thick rimmed steering wheels, the alloy pedals all point to cars with performance as a theme. And that's very much the focus of these cars as a whole, rather than luxury. That said, the equipment levels are hardly baseline. You get a decent amount of kit, including Bluetooth, decent sound, keyless entry and starting, central locking, and an exclusive RS monitor. However, at full tilt, you won't have too much time to study the monitor's graphs and stats. The Megane RS is all about shove and urge. It always feels powerful and particularly muscular in the mid-range when the turbo comes in and is at full song. I have to say that there are some traction issues here because, of course, the car is front-wheel driven, but the LS diff and also the clever front axle geometry mean that it does put the power down pretty effectively. And once you're on the go, the steering is nice and meaty and the car always feels much more predictable than you'd expect. The Megan RB7's smaller sibling is a completely different proposition. The Clio RS might be the smaller car and the less powerful one compared to the Megane, but it is certainly the edgier and sharper car. The dialogue between car and driver, much more intuitive, much less diluted. And this is a car that you really have to grab by the scruff of its neck and drive very, very hard. Of course, part of the reason the engine, which has got that narrow power band, really needs to sit between five and 7,000 RPM. And in that band, it's brilliant, it's responsive, it's quick, and it is kind of scary to some extent. So, not a car you can relax in, but a car that you can absolutely enjoy to the thrill on a track like this. Of course, the truly tantalizing question is this. Which of these two limited edition models is the more exciting, more involving machine? The Red Bull Racing RB7 versions of the Clio RS and the Megane RS Trophy certainly look the limited edition part. 
They are also very fast cars, but in very different ways. So, which one would I choose? Well, I certainly like the shove and the get up and go of the Megane. It's certainly the more powerful car and the one that feels almost brutal on the road. But the purer, more undiluted sports machine here is the Clio, and it's also the more challenging car to drive. Of course, the whole discussion is quite academic because Renault have only brought 20 examples of each model into the country and all 20 are already spoken for. The hearty shove of the turbo motor, the rapid shifts of the six-speed box and the grip provided by the LS Diff are among this special Megane's key attributes. Yes, it's fast enough to embarrass many a hardcore sports car and it's still top of the hot hatch club but those colours won't suit everyone and availability is strictly limited. This is the last Clio RS with a non-turbo engine so save its crisp and linear responses and its high revving nature, it's a wonderful piece of kit that also goes for the car as a whole. It's one of a dwindling breed of authentic driving machines, even if it can be hard work and uncomfortable too.